Hello and welcome to this edition of Magic Minutes. In this edition, you will learn how to turn off the printing of the General Ledger Journal postings that are printed when many different applications, such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, and inventory control, post to the General Ledger. This feature is intended to save you paper if you do not need all of the GL Journal postings to print out. Before turning off the GL posting printing, I will first run a posting for accounts receivable. Upon completion, you will see in my spool file the GL posting journal was generated. Next, I will choose the source code file maintenance menu from the financial systems control menu. Here you will see a variety of different source codes. I am going to change the account receivable printing flag from a 1 to a 2. Now when I run an AR posting, the GL posting journal is not printed. The same step can be re repeated for any or all of the GL source codes listed. You will notice that there are two source codes, PO to AP and counter sales, which are not maintainable. These source codes are tied with AP and sales respectively, and will be updated when these flags are changed. If you have the printing option turned off, but would still like to reprint a specific posting journal for your records, you can access the Reprint GL Posting Journal option in the General Ledger Master menu. If the GL posting was generated from the General Journal entry, then you will already have the batch number to use. If you did a posting through another program, such as Accounts Receivable, you will need to first go into the Display Detail Postings. You will enter the account number as well as the time frame. After doing this, select the correct entry with an X. You will then be able to see the GL batch number that was used for that posting. You can then use that GL batch number to reprint your GL posting journal. Simply enter the batch number and press enter to confirm. After confirming the correct batch, press F2 to accept. This will generate your posting journal and it can then be accessed in your spool file. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Magic Minutes. Be sure to check back to the DPS YouTube page on a regular basis for more information.